see how thin it is. Look at it from the sides. And here it is from the back. Let's flip it around. You can see Samsung SSD there. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Samsung SSD 980 Pro. I did purchase this drive myself and any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. You can see the retail box and packaging right here walking us through some of the key features. So we have a read speed advertised up to 7,000 megabytes per second, PCIe 4.0 NVMe M.2 SSD, and we have the one terabyte version of this drive, but it is available in multiple capacities from 250 gigabytes to 500 gigabytes to one terabyte to two terabytes. And you can purchase this with and without a heat sink. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the contents. First up, you can see we have our installation guide and warranty statement right here with their legal disclaimers. Let's go ahead, let's open that up. You can see we have our desktop computer installation instructions for a 2.5 inch drive for a laptop how to install an M.2 SSD. That's what we're gonna be doing. They walk you through those instructions right there. And then lastly, you can see we have our warranty information right here for you to review. Next, you can see we have the drive itself. So check it out. Everything looks great. Let's bring it up to the camera. So you guys can see the 980 Pro VNAND SSD up to 7,000 megabytes per second for our read speeds. One terabyte is our capacity. You can see how thin it is. Look at it from the sides. And here it is from the back. Let's flip it around. You can see Samsung SSD there in the NVMe Express. Now let's go ahead, let's get this installed. So here's the motherboard we're gonna to use to install our Samsung 980 Pro M.2 drive. So the first thing we have to do is remove our heat sink right here. So we have two screws, we have to loosen those, and there you go, you can see our mount for our M.2 drive right here. We have a couple other options on this board as well, but in this case, we wanna use our primary slot with our PCIe 4.0 speeds to get the most out of this particular drive. So you can see, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna line it up here, and if you need to, you can adjust the standoff bracket on your board, it should come with one. You can move it as needed. So in this case, that's perfect, it's exactly where we need it to be. And you may have noticed with this particular setup, the screws already integrated into the cover. So now we're just left to remove this sticker right here on the back of our heat sink. If we can get it. So we're not trying to remove everything, just the sticker. Get that out of the way. And now we'll get our drive installed. So just press it on, line everything up. And then you can see we can just tighten everything down in place. I like to get both screws going first before I tighten one all the way down. But nice and snug, you don't have to over tighten it or really crank on it or anything. So there we go, you can see we just successfully installed our drive. Now let's go ahead and try it out. So you can see our PC's built and all set and ready to go. We've conducted our benchmarking test. Let's go ahead, let's look at the computer and see the results that we get. So first up, out of the one terabyte of usable space, we have 930 gigabytes available. You can see too, I pulled up a little graphic here of Samsung advertising the speeds of this drive. So up to 7,000 megabytes per second for our read speeds and up to 5,000 megabytes per second for our write speeds. Real world results, what do we actually get? I went ahead, I conducted it with two benchmarking tools and you can see with Crystal Dismark, we got really, really close to those results. We got 6,633 megabytes per second for our read speeds, and we got 4,962 megabytes per second for our write speeds. Now we see diminished performance with our AS SSD benchmark, so our read score is showing 4,938 megabytes per second, and our write score is showing 3,760 megabytes per second. But I'm impressed with Crystal Dismark that we actually got really close to what they're advertising for this particular drive. So count me impressed. So it definitely works as advertised. Now let me share with you my final thoughts. There's nothing wrong with this drive whatsoever. Count me impressed. But with that being said, my favorite drive is still the PNY XLR8. And with that drive, we do still best 
this Samsung drive. So with our PNY XLR8, we got our Crystal Disk benchmark score of 6,965 megabytes per second for our read, and we got 5,000 244 megabytes per second for our write. So it is a little bit faster, at least within that benchmarking utility. I'm not sure realistically you will be able to tell a difference whether you're using this drive or not. What you'll be able to tell a difference is if you're using an M.2 drive versus just your regular 2.5 inch SSD. And then obviously if you're using PCIe 3.0 or PCIe 4.0, you definitely wanna take advantage of the latest and greatest technology, especially if you're copying over and transferring a lot of files, you will really appreciate the performance boost that you get with a drive like this. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.